Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be different as you can see by the title. I'm going to be testing tutorial. Let me just give you guys kind of an overview of how this is going to go because I don't want anyone to think that this is a bashing type of series because it ain't. This is actually, uh, there's a few things that I would like to accomplish with this series. The first one is I really want to promote other YouTubers. In the video, I'm going to say whose tutorial I'm I'm going to be recreating what they did and we're going to kind of get started. That's how it's going to go. So that is the number one thing we want to do is help promote and, and grow this community first and foremost. Um, two, the second thing it's going to be, is it bullshit or is it good shit? I mean, sometimes, you know how you just sit and, because I'm a YouTube jockey, I don't know about y'all, but I watch YouTube like it's television, like shit, that is my television, to be honest with you. You know, sometimes you look at these tutorials and you're like, okay, I don't think I can do that, and you just kind of bypass it, or you be like, okay, that don't, that, no, that just, you did more than you said you just did in that tutorial. Um, so, and this is what that this series is supposed to be like is it really a tutorial that anybody can do or do you need that hair type to do it you know what I mean and to just kind of educate you sometimes we say things in these tutorials that isn't as clear as we think they are like for example um, before I started doing wash and goes I would always hear people say you should start on soaking wet hair but my interpretation of soaking wet hair was getting out of the shower that's soaking wet but no that's not like soaking wet is literally your hair is drenched in water like you still in the shower you know what I'm saying so um, it's just kind of educate and and to see if it works on different hair types or if substitutions can be used or if different techniques can be used to achieve the same hairstyle so that's pretty much what this series is supposed to do if you are excited about this series give it a thumbs up but let's get into this video. I'm gonna start off with a disclaimer. I really ain't do everything to a T. You understand? I actually got this video from Naturally Carla. I saw a I saw a video that she posted and it was called like an eight perm rod set. Basically, you get this banging, banging. Let me, I'm gonna show you her hair right here. This is basically what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, for eight for eight perm rods total on blow dried hair because girls I was resty to do this tutorial you hear me because I was like that look that looks so easy I'm about to I'm about to fuck it up that was my that was my interpretation of that it ain't easy um I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it did I I didn't start out on a blowout let's start with that um I started out on an old Flexi rod set. I put a little a little concoction on it. A little actually I put the white peony, the Maya white peony on my hair to detangle it because I never detangle my hair while it's like dry. I, it'll break all your hair off. Don't ever do that. Ever. Ever. So um so basically I took the peony, sprayed it on my hair, brushed through it, you know, and then I twisted it up. So basically I was doing more of the stretch method. As opposed to doing a fresh blowout because I just did one if you guys saw my last video I did a flexi rod set I will link it above so you guys go check that out because it was actually a real tutorial um so I was basically doing that so I was combing those out twisting it and then pinning it up I had it in four section I was good to go got to the blowout state so I was like we in there right yeah no so, I started sectioning it off just like she did. I used the perm rods that she did or whatever. So, it was blown out, sectioned up. I had like one in the middle and, no, two in the middle. And then one on this side and one on this side. So, <laughs> what I did was I started, right when she started, was that, that second one in the middle. Y'all, when I say this technique ain't easy. I don't know how she got all her her on this one little rod, but it ain't it ain't work. It ain't work. Y'all gonna see the struggles. Actually, I don't even know if I kept the struggle in there because I thought that I was gonna actually 
make this a normal tutorial which gave me the idea of testing tutorials um because I couldn't get it I couldn't get all my hair a blow blown out hair by the way on this little rod and they do this as well so that wasn't that wasn't helpful um she only used eight of these if you guys want to know she used eight of these size perm rods So I got to twist it. I put actually, I, she put foaming lotion. So basically, she put water and then she, she put like a little bit of water and some foaming lotion, and that was it. She didn't use no other products. So I was like, bet we got water and foaming lotion. Nope, I didn't use the same foaming lotion she did because I said to myself, I said, foaming lotion is foaming lotion. This lotion is foaming. Like, that's, I feel like the foaming sensation is what is the only thing that's helping you out in the hairstyle anyway. Like, the products that's in here probably ain't help. I don't know. The tutorial was failed anyway, but we're gonna get to that later. So I use this foam lotion. It smelled good. It smelled real good. So I put the foam lotion on. Whatever. <laughs> you know. Um smooth. That's that's my uh prayer hands. Um I smoothed it through. And then I took the rod and I saw in the video that she twisted her hair first. Then she took the rod and then she like put it around or whatever. And then she took some edge control on the end to secure it which it, I did I did it. let me tell y'all it took me though it took a good 30 minutes this hairstyle really looked like it took like five minutes or ten minutes it took a good 30 45 because I could not wrap my hair around it took me so long my hand was cramping so we we gonna go ahead and pass that we put our foam lotion on we got our rollers in boom bow wow then she said that she sat in the dryer for one hour she said she know it went two hours. So I thought to myself, man, that hair already dry anyway. All it got is a little foam. So I was like, girl, ain't nobody fixed to that one. Wow. You know, <laughs> just, you know, disregarding the instructions or whatever. And so uh, I sat on it for 30. But then I did. I went to sleep in them, you know, because I got tired because I was hot under the dryer and stuff. I went to sleep. Uh, then I sat back on there for two minutes and I was like, you know what, I'm about, I'm tired of this already, so I'm about to just take them out, which is what you guys see now. I'm taking them out and I realized they still wet, but you know, at this point, I wasn't about to wrap that thing back around there because I told y'all how hard it was getting it on there. So the fact that I got to roll the thing up again and it ain't dry, I was mad. So I said I wasn't just, wasn't going to dry it. I went ahead and took it out. And this is what it looks like. So. <laughs> so. Moral of the story. It ain't work for me. It's hard. That's a hard tutorial. Girl, like. Woo. Um. I think. Like, I, I feel like our hair was the same amount of thickness. But I don't know, maybe the, my texture is so much thicker that I just need to do an additional four, five, six, seven more um, perm rods or so. Maybe I don't have to do as much as I normally do, but, you know, it's nice to kind of know that I can still get results if I was to dry it. I may try this out again, and I actually, oh my god, I love her hair it's so much. I, I follow her. You guys should follow her. Her tutorials are great. If it works for your hair, we in there. If it doesn't, we in the same boat. I'll help try to help you find the alternative for this tutorial. But right now we don't have one because uh, we not about to sit on that dryer that long. All right. So I really hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let's talk in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section any other tutorials you would like for me to see in this series. Um, my, basically my recommendations are going to come from you all or any tutorials that I kind of find that may be harder for you guys. Even if it's not a hard tutorial and you just want to see me recreate a look or something, just let me know in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm just talking now. But I hope you guys like it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!